Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, my hands will be starring in this particular video. So I have pulled lipstick lip gloss, liners, liquid lipstick. I have pulled it from literally everywhere. And this is gonna be the same intro for at least three videos. So my plan is to cull down this giant collection. The three part series will consist of one video for lipsticks and lip liners, just regular bullet lipsticks. I have liquid lipsticks, a lot of liquid lipsticks. I expect that to be the longest video. I will be trying to do swatches as well. Bear with me, I'm not gonna swatch everything. Obviously that would take way too long. I also have over here glosses, lip plumpers, lip balms. So that's what's on this side right here. I also have a couple palettes. I'm gonna incorporate those into the like regular lipstick category. I also have this right here, which is the one lipstick organizer I have in a drawer. Honestly, I need probably three or four of those to really accommodate everything. Oh my God, I have pulled them from freaking everywhere. Every little container, every organizer that I could possibly find. And yes, this is a massive amount. Honestly, I was afraid it was gonna be more so I'm going to go through by category literally everything. So without further ado, let's get into it. Round one, I am going to first go through this organizer right here. So I am either going to keep them and leave them in here, or for the most part, this is an older collection. So I am going to be getting rid of a lot. Unused product, what's going to happen is given to someone or it will be donated. If it is old and used, I'm going to have to trash it. I will try to avoid trashing stuff if I don't have to. If it's not too old and I can use it and I like it, I'm going to keep it. But this is also keep in mind years and years of collecting. Some of this is way beyond expiration. I've just had it that long and I didn't want to throw it in the bin and that's why I still have it. But I need to make a more reasonable collection so that I will actually use what I have. First off, these Urban Decay are the old packaging. The packaging changed years ago. Unfortunately, this is a toss. These are just far too old. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's probably been three or four years ago. The new updated packaging like this was around when I started at Sephora, which was nearly four years ago. New packaging, I'm gonna keep. Old packaging, I'm gonna toss. Sephora Collection lipstick, I don't know if I've ever, yeah, I maybe used this once. I mean, it's an all right shade. We have mini Urban Decay lipsticks. These are in the newer packaging. These, if they're not used, I will donate. Oh, that one's fallen out, okay. This one is unused, so that will be a donate. These little buxom lipsticks are super old. I got them maybe five years ago. Gosh, it could be longer in a like gift set. Long comb, that one's not used. These are probably the newest ones of my collection. So I'm gonna donate. I'm glad that I'm seeing that some of these aren't used. Like, yes, that means I haven't used them, but also it means I don't have to toss them. Kevin Aquan, I'm gonna keep. I have not worked for Clinique in so long, and I have not bought Clinique lipstick since then. Ooh, that one feels pretty dry. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but there is like texture on the bullet and that one is really old, my goodness. I think that's a shade that I actually had like a backup of and of course never got to the backup. What is this? This is a MAC Liptensity in Gumball. I don't really like that one, but it's barely used so I'm gonna see if somebody would like it. Ooh, that multi-stick is really dry. That one has been super loved. Now, this is the old Vite packaging. They look barely used, and I haven't had these extremely long. I'm gonna put those in the pile to see if somebody would like them. I'm probably, honestly, if you wanna know the truth, I'm gonna sit down with my mom and my aunt and a bottle of alcohol. <laughs> And I'm gonna let them go through all of these and if there's anything that they want, I'm just gonna sanitize it right then and there. Got some NARS pencils. Still creamy. Mm, I'm just gonna put these in to see if they want it pile. There's gonna be a lot of that. This is a julep one. That's pretty. These are lippy sticks from ColourPop. Let's swatch them. Oh, those are actually really pretty. I don't use these a lot. I don't know why. I'm gonna hold on to them. Now we also have a nude sticks. That's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that too. 
Everything else is liquid or gloss, so I'm done with this for now. Okay, so a few random things that I had. These are the little Maybelline metallic lip kits, and honestly, I wasn't thrilled with them when I first used them. I think I have like a little Instagram video, maybe a YouTube video trying them. They were not very good, honestly. The Anastasia lip palette, I don't reach for it a lot, but I do like to have it in my collection because I can, as you see, I've kind of dipped into the yellow, the blue. You can create a lip color with this, so I do like to have this on hand, and I got it at a good deal as well well. Now this I have held on to because I wanted to first get rid of my older ones. So this is a Vice lipstick kit and I'm going to hold on to this as is. Um, so we're going to keep those two. I actually don't have as many like regular lipsticks as I really thought. So any of these like pencil forms I'm just going to put in this container for now and we'll go through the lip liners probably last. Let's dump this out. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of grab a few things that I know I want to keep and kind of keep it simple. So first off, these big ones from Kiko Milano. I really like this formula. This is from the Ocean Fuel Collection. I'll just swatch one so that you can see. They have a beautiful intensity. They're creamy, very comfortable on the lips. And I just really like the formula. I haven't had these long. And now I have laid out a lot of regular lipsticks. So first off, this one I know is super dry, like literally won't even swatch. This is from Ludentic Cosmetics Lab. I actually really, really like this and I like the packaging. I'm just gonna have to replace it though. I've had it for a while and it's just, you know, it's super dry. Really cute packaging too. This one from Dior I have not used yet. It's really new and it's like a, almost like metallic glossy creamy lipstick. I don't really like this little benefit dual color thing. This Revolution Soap X one is such a pretty color. Oh, it's such a good nude. Definitely keeping that guy. This one from Context, I actually just received in a subscription box and it's a little bit warmer, but it's also really pretty. Have this one from Kevin Aquan, I haven't had very long. Ooh. Got a couple of Anastasia colors. Oh, that's so pretty. This one is Petal. That's such a good color. This is more like a balm. Got a few random ones. I actually just got this one from, what's the brand? Oh, Bell and Argent. And it's a pretty color. It's a little different for me, but you guys really liked it on me, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. I've got a Huda one. This one is Joyride. I have not used this and I haven't had it long at all. It's a pretty like darker brownie nude. And this is a Burberry lipstick. Ooh, it's a good color. So those are a bunch of like one-offs. I don't like to keep a lot like that because I have a weird thing about like wanting to have multiples, you know, it's just, it's weird. Um, this Melt formula, I love their lipstick formula. I have this Laura Geller I got recently in a subscription box. It is a really nice formula. Creamy and a beautiful color. This mana one, that's pretty. These bite ones are super, super old. Got this one from Stila. Looks like it's maybe been swatched. I don't like that peachier kind of color on me, so we're gonna go with the giveaway bag. This little tart one, pretty, but I'm gonna put in the giveaway. Lancome, pretty, but giveaway. What is this one, Revlon? Kind of similar to the berry here, so I'm just gonna give away that one. Again, smaller ones. I've had like three or four Bobbi Brown that are all honestly untouched, but they're minis. Oh, that's so pretty. That's such a pretty color. Okay, I'll hold on to like that one. So there's actually like all these Bobbi Brown minis. Where did I just swatch that one? They're all so pretty, but like I know I don't need to keep. Okay, maybe I'll just keep the Bobbi Brown minis. I'll put the tart in the giveaway. I have another tart one. It's a pretty color as well, but I'm trying not to keep a ton of minis, but those will be good travel. All right, we're down to a lot less. I'm probably keeping all of my Mac, honestly, but I'm gonna hold off for just a second. This one is from Colored Rain. Oh yes, honey. 
Love that one. So this one is from Jolie. Okay. I knew that was supposed to click or something. Oh, this is a highlighting stick. It's in the wrong bag, but it's broken. Okay, good packaging. I have two from Illamasqua. Let's see, oh, that's one of the marbled ones. I think that came in my advent calendar last year. It's got a really short little bullet on it. Weird. That one's got a longer bullet. Um, they're pretty, but I think I'm gonna put those in the giveaway. This is a Peach Perfect. I have some more of those over there. A couple Kat Von D. Um, I'm not really interested in like buying a lot of Kat Von D right now, but there are a few things that I have that I'm still keen to use. This is one of my favorite nudes. This is Divine, but it's like pinky peachy nude. It's just perfect. I am gonna hold on to those two for now. We have Jeffree Star. I just got these, so I'm not gonna get rid of those. And then this one, what is this? This is Gargoyle. I can honestly say I have nothing quite like that. It is different. I don't know if I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it, but I haven't had that long either. So we're gonna we're gonna just hold on to those for now. So we are down to some MAC Lorac. This is a random makeup geek. I'm gonna try to remember to swatch here. This is Naive. I'm not a fan, oh no. I'm not a fan of these colors on me. It's a beautiful color and formula, but I don't think they suit me very well. So that's gonna go in the give to friends pile. Okay, so these Lorac and MAC, I'm just gonna swatch. All right, so for the Lorac, these are all gorgeous. I really like that one. Um, this next one I swatched, Barista. I don't really see myself wearing that. And then this one here is kind of similar to this and I favor this a little bit better. So I'm just gonna keep the pink packaging and then let these two go in the uh, let others try bag. I can't decide what I wanna call that bag. So let's move on to MAC. I'm definitely keeping my two, these are the Powder Kiss. I only have two and I got these at IMATS and I really like them. So we're gonna hold on to those. I have a lot more MAC in here than anything else. So let me pull out a few that aren't MAC first. Got a couple of the Urban from the Born to Run collection. I'm gonna keep those. So let's start with these. These are the ColourPop, ColourPop lipsticks. <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. I think there might be a couple different formulas. So let me swatch these. That one's really, oh, that's pretty though. It's a little light, but I will use it obviously in the center with a lip liner for me. Pretty. We'll have a lot of pinks like that. Surprisingly. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on to those for now. Gerard Cosmetics. I think these are the glittery ones, which I actually think are, ooh, it's like super dry. I have to kind of get down into it. There was one of them though that I loved. Oh dear. They're just so hard and dry. Uh, that one's not as bad. I think it's this one that I really liked. So I think it's this one, Hollywood Boulevard, but it's literally so tough to get on. I definitely thought I would keep all of the Gerard Cosmetics. The texture of these is just not, I'm not feeling it. And I actually think because I have this one random one, I swatched this one earlier, I don't really see myself wearing that either. So I'm gonna put that one in the like uh, giveaway bag. And then these unfortunately are just not good. All right, so these first are from the, nobody, the Lorac Beauty and the Beast collection. I think I'm gonna keep these, but may I help you? Can I help you? Dude, I think I'm gonna keep them. Oh, that's, that's pretty light. The, buddy. Let's see what, how these others perform. Ooh. Oh my God. Minners, I had a clean lipstick off the cat. Go, get down, get down, buddy. Go, go. I'm sorry. Don't look at me like that. All right, so I'm gonna keep those for now. And I don't know ultimately where those will be stored. All right, oh, that's a random. Why is that one different? This one is Sunday Funday. Do I have that? I guess not. I think this came in like a, a gift set or something, but I really like 
this formula for like a bullet mat. It goes on a little dry feeling at first, but they wear so nicely. It's really only specific colors too. Like that one's super creamy feeling. I have anything like that again I don't like a lot of peaches um this this like bright one I like a lot better than this one here so I'm gonna hold on to that but most of these are really beautiful I'm just gonna keep those so I'm not gonna fuss with those too much because I'm keeping them this is my my weird brain I don't like that this is a different packaging it shouldn't really matter but you know this is the newest holiday collection. I love these. And then this is, I think the previous holiday collection. I'm not getting rid of any of these. I love, 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 love. And then the rest of these I'm gonna swatch. The Aladdin collection I also liked a lot. So yeah, I'm just gonna put those in here and I'm not gonna pretend that I'm about to get rid of those. She's stained, but she's clean. The Ellie Goulding one I haven't had long. I'm just gonna put that one back there. It's kind of like a limited one. This is matte lipstick, nude du jour. This is Novel Vogue, Russian red, and antique velvet. I'm gonna keep these and then let's swatch these right here. So there's the rest of my MAC. So no real surprise there that I am holding on to those. I don't think I got rid of anything that was in there. I kind of expected that. And that is actually the end of my bullet lipsticks apart from my CoverGirl PR box. But my battery is about to die. So when we come back, we're gonna get into this right here. All right, so I have literally done so much swatching. As you can see, I've swatched everything in this PR box and I actually don't really wanna get rid of it, but it takes up a lot of space and I do feel like I can do a little bit better job of using them if they're not in the box. So once I have my lipsticks out, I'm gonna recycle the box. So first off, the lip liners, I've basically turned upside down everything that I am not going to keep. And honestly, I wanted to keep this shade, which is this like nudie brown right here, but it broke. These two are more like a shimmery or kind of like frosted lip liner, which I know I'm just not going to wear. The rest I am going to keep. I really do like this lip liner. I just wanted to keep the more matte formulas. Like I said, I would have kept that other one if it hadn't broken. So onto the lipsticks, I went row by row. So the top row are these four nudes. I actually like, but I think I'm actually going to decide to get rid of this one. I don't see myself using it. And they're also kind of similar. I like the pinkier one a little bit better. So we're gonna say goodbye to that one. What we've gotten rid of is this one right here, which is more of like a sheer brown. I don't see myself using that. I'm not keeping the white. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys can guess why. You could use it in an artistic way, but I don't see myself really doing that. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. These four are basically this row right here. I really don't like purples and blues. Obviously like blue is not a normal lip color to wear. I will occasionally wear something different like that, but honestly, I'm not gonna get that much use out of them. So I'm gonna say goodbye to these. These are some of the metallics that I am getting rid of. And it's colors like this silver right here, um, this like Barbie-ish kind of like sparkly pink I don't think I'm gonna wear. Again, purples, blues, blacks, things like that that I'm just not going to reach for. I am keeping this one like rich black sparkly shade just because it's, I really don't have anything quite like that. The rest of the ones I'm getting rid of are like the berry color, for instance. And a couple of these, they're a little bit more frosted than I would typically reach for. So I'm getting rid of all these, and then those are the ones that I'm going to be keeping. All right, so that leaves us with lip liners, lip pencils, things like that. First off, I'm gonna pull out these Buxom Plump Line. I actually really like these, so I know I'm gonna keep those. A couple of Jeffree Star ones that I have, I know I'm gonna keep those. I have these Tristique ones that I actually really like as well. These have a balm on the end. I believe all of these do. And then a color on top. I like those a lot. I don't really see myself wearing this ColourPop one. Oh, that's really nice though. Okay, maybe I'll keep that one. <laughs> Liar. I have this one, Maybelline. This is an invisible one I'm gonna hold on to. My Clinique ones are super old, but I do have, oh, No Bleeding Lips is another clear one I'm gonna keep. The Urban Gwen Stefani ones, I'm gonna see. They actually still perform really well. 
kept the lipstick, so I guess I'll keep those as well. Those will probably be gone on the next round of declutter, however. Mila Masca. Oh, I like this one. It's more of like a, a little bit of a firmer, drier pencil, but I feel like that really helps to keep your lips from bleeding. Oh, this sleek one. No, I don't think I'm gonna keep that. The lid was a little off. I really like the Grande Plumping Liner. I'm gonna keep that. These little mini guys I'm gonna get rid of. I think there was another miniature one somewhere in here. The Huda one I'm definitely gonna keep. MAC. I really like the Smashbox ones that I have. I have a couple different colors. Stila, this light pink. I don't really see myself using that. Ultimate Ozone is like a lip primer slash clear lip liner kind of deal. Deck of Scarlet, long lasting lip liner. I really didn't like the Deck of Scarlet to be honest. And ooh, that's really brown. And I like my Gerard Cosmetics ones. I'm gonna pull those out. I have another MAC one. That's another MAC one, another Huda one. Oh, here's a little mini Dior. I'm gonna give that one away. Sleek, I'm gonna say goodbye to. Oh, I think I like this Jouet one too. I have a lot of pinks. Okay, more Clinique. I'm not sure with Clinique if I'm gonna keep them. That little bitty bite one's nice. I think I'm gonna make like a little section for like miniature stuff because I kept the Bobbi Brown mini lips. So I think I'm gonna like you know, good for travel type of deal. I have another MAC one, another Gerard Cosmetics one. I think this one from Lancome is pretty old. It's a pretty good nude. These are really good for filling in your whole lip with. I have another MAC one. This Makeup Forever one is new. I have a Laura Mercier one. I believe that one is new as well. NYX Lingerie Push Up. I'm not really a fan of that color. I'm gonna give that one away. Um, this is Swan Lee by Kat Von D. This is a really good one for creating like an ombre, so I'm gonna keep it for that reason. A MAC one. This is a Bite. What is this? Line and Define. This is like a primer. I'll keep that. This Laura Mercier Extreme is more like a lipstick. That one I haven't had very long. Loritzi. Mm, I'm not really feeling that. Nude Sticks. That's really intense, but I don't think I'm gonna keep that. NARS, I'm gonna keep. Makeup Revolution. Oh, super, super dry. We've got a Deuce one. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Janta Blue. Pretty decent one. This is real her. Ugh, I'm not gonna keep that color. This is another Bite one. What's the other color? Okay, those are both pretty nice, so I'm gonna keep both of the little Bite minis. Profusion. I actually think I like this one, but it's a peachy color, so I'm just gonna give that away. Another Janta Blue. Make sure these are not the same color. I've got Spice and Dark Natural. I like the formula of their lip liner. I've got another Sleek one. That one's creamy. I'm gonna give that one away. I've got Clinique Wet n Wild. I like the Wet n Wild gel. This one is Ilamasca. I think I kept another one. This is a Stila one. This one's probably pretty old. Oh, feels like it's about to fall apart. This is a Marc Jacobs lip pencil crayon type of thing. Wet and Wild. We got Sleek. That one feels nice. So I'll give that one away. Another Stila. Formula is a little weird on that one. So Wet and Wild and Clinique. So I think I'm gonna keep the Wet and Wild because I feel like I'm getting rid of a lot and I don't want to lose like variety. Um, so I'll keep the Wet n Wild. Let me swatch these Clinique ones. I used to love to put this all over my lips. This is Sky Violet. And then put like a gloss over top. I think I might actually have a couple of those. <laughs> I have three Sky Violets. Let me see. This one is almost empty. I'm gonna trash that. I'm gonna keep one of those. This other one's a little rough. And then I have Cocoa Rose and Deep Red. And then all of these are the newer ones that I have. They're the intense ones. So I'll just keep all those for now. So that's my lip liner, just cold down. And then these are the CoverGirl ones that I'm keeping. All right, so that is it for decluttering my regular lipsticks and lip liners. We're left with obviously still a lot, but I feel better about it. So this is the bag I am going to let people look at and see if anybody wants anything. So I got a good little bag of that. All right, and then these are the ones that are like old, broken, what have you. So if they're like not where I can give it to somebody, then they had to go in this bag. But at least it's not more than this. I would have felt really bad about that. So here we go. All right, so this is really the majority of my boy lipsticks. I feel pretty good about that. I basically got some of the ones in here. I've got all of these, um, a few little Jeffree Star 
got my lip liners and I'm feeling like that's a really good like cool down of what I had once I emptied this out more I think I'll be able to condense a bit more and kind of save some storage area I've still got a lot to go through with liquid lipsticks and glosses but I'm really proud of the progress I've made so far that is it for this one thank you guys so so much for watching me declutter some lips and definitely stay tuned for more makeup declutters if you like these be sure to give me a big thumbs up that way I know that you want to see more of these videos and I will surely do them for you so thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys and I will see you next time